Hi, I'm Dov S.S. Simmons, and this is WebFilmSchool.com, the free film school on the web. The free, once again, film school on the web. Welcome. And this filmmaking tip, number 106, is for you as a producer-director hiring actors, hiring names, hiring talent, and the most important thing that I'm sure you want to know, what do I pay? What do I pay? Let's go to the clipboard. Let's get into some information on what to pay an actor. And it's going to go from $100 a day to $20 million. Again, the clipboard. First off, here's the first question you should ask yourself with your shoot. Are you a union shoot or are you non-union? What do I mean by that? Did you sign with the main actors union, which is called SAG, the Screen Actors Guild? There's also another union for actors more oriented towards TV and a little bit theater is AFTRA. But take a look in the box on your screen. You'll see the address in the website for SAG, the East Coast and the West Coast. And if you, as a producer, director, and your production company ever signed with the Screen Actors Guild, new phrase, you're a signator. That means you signed a contract, you agreed to the rules and the regulations. Now, let's get into hiring an actor. There are four possible scenarios for you, the first time producer, director. One, if you're non-union. Two, if you're union. Three, if you're union low budget. And four, if you're union and you're really hiring a star are, a name actor, a B name, or an A name. Let's get into them. First off, one, non-union. One, non-union, which is a fair chance that you are. First off, information. You, producer, director. You can hire whoever you want to hire, whenever you want to hire them. And if you want to hire an actor that is in the union, the Screen Actors Guild, but you don't sign with the Screen Actors Guild, you can still hire them. This is America. You can hire whoever you want to hire, whenever you want to hire them. Now, if you're non-union, but you want to hire the actor and they're in the union, here's your concern. You've got to pay at least minimum wage. You've got to deal with workers' compensation. I'd recommend $10 an hour, $100 a day. But the key for this actor is they want an opening title credit. What? Number two. Two, what if you're going union and you're actually signing with SAG? It's a contract. Well, take a look on the screen. You'll see you've got to pay a minimum. You're allowed to pay more of $759 a day. That's for a minimum eight hours or $2,600 and change for a week. But remember, there's overtime. After a rate, after it starts at $786 for a day plus overtime or $2,700 a week plus overtime. Now let's go down to union but low budget, which is more than likely what you are. There are five different low budget rules from the Screen Actors Guild. Go to their website, check them all out. There's the standard low budget agreement. Then there's a diversified casting low budget agreement, sometimes called the affirmative action low budget agreement. Now there's the modified low budget agreement. Then there's the ultra low budget agreement and the short film agreement. The two agreements that will adhere to you, producer directors, at the budget range where you're at is either the modified low budget agreement, anything under six hundred twenty $25,000 or the ultra low budget agreement, anything under $200,000. And more than likely, your budget for your first no-budget feature film, you will qualify for the ultra low budget agreement, anything under 200000 and you'll pay an actor, and you're allowed to pay an actor and sign with SAG $100 a day, $100 a day. Now let's get into the celebrity, the stars. Number four, what if you're hiring an actor that's in the union and a name, which just about all name actors are in the union, the screen actors go to star. What are you going to pay? Remember, you know the difference between a B name and an A name. Let's break it down. So if your actor is sort of in a lot of TV MOWs, it's a B name, you usually pay the actor between 250 and 400 thou. If your actor has been in a couple HBO special Showtime originals, pay cable, you usually pay them their B plus name actor, 500 thou to mil. If you're making an low budget independent feature film, but it's a decent budget, you'll probably hire an A minus name actor, pay him 200 to 500 thou but that actor is probably owning at least 50% of your film, so you're really partnering with the actor. And if you're going for a studio feature and you need a real A name or an A-plus name, then you're going to pay them a minimum of $1 million to $3 million, plus a percentage, more than likely, of box 
box office gross, or if you're just giving them a salary, then you hear that they get paid $5 million to $20 million. Now, here's the bottom line, some good information. What are you doing in your first feature film? You're probably non-union, hiring SAG actors, or your union signing the ultra-low budget agreement. You're probably not working with stars or names, and you're probably paying actors ballpark $100 a day. Real good information. Real good information. By the way, the next filmmaking tip coming up, we're going to get back to that million dollar feature film, check by check by check. Happy filmmaking. Now here's what you've just learned when you as a producer director are hiring actors making your first or second more than likely low budget feature film. Your first question, are you going to be union or non-union? That means are you signing with the Screen Actors Guild or not? Now, if you sign with the Screen Actors Guild, do you qualify for low budget, which you do? And also, you should know something about SAG and signing with SAG and hiring star names. First off, let's go SAG. If you just sign with SAG and you pay minimum, it's about $759 a day. But if you qualify for SAG low budget agreement and the ultra low budget agreement, you can pay actors $100 a day. And by the way, if you're hiring stars and you think you can do pay or play money, then you're going to be paying SAG A-list and B-list star names anywhere between $200,000 and $20 million and a percentage ownership and box office gross in the future. Your film. Now here's the bottom line. You're going to probably sign with SAG. You'll probably qualify for the ultra low budget agreement. And you're not going to deal with B list and A list names. And you're going to probably pay your actors $100 a day. You've just gotten some really good information in about five minutes. I want you to know my real film school is the two-day film school. I do it about 40 times a year around the world in different cities and nations, and it's 1,000 minutes of information loaded with facts. You just got five minutes. By the way, take the two-day film school. It's amazing. If you want to launch your career as either producer, writer, director, and actor. And by the way, if you can't wait or you can't attend for whatever reason the two-day film school, I put the two-day film school in a box set this is the DVD Film School. It's 16 DVD filmmaking lessons with four workbooks for the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. So if you want to launch your career as either producer, writer, director, even an actor, take the DVD Film School and it's budgeting, scheduling, screenwriting, directing, cinematography, lighting, editing, marketing, distributing, financing, deal making, and of course, profiting. This is the amazing DVD Film School. So again, you want to launch your career as producer, writer, director, even an actor, then take action, order the DVD Film School. Happy filmmaking.